Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coaster and Update. We've got some news out of Valencia, California, where we've officially... Shocking! Shocking. Where we've shocking. officially learned that... Or should I say enlightening? <laughs> that Green Lantern first flight <laughs> is officially done at Magic Mountain. Now, this is a ride uh, that hasn't been running a whole lot the last few years. It's been down... Uh, it's, it's been closed, I think, for over a calendar year, because when I went back over Labor Day last year, it was closed, and it had been closed for quite some time it's, it's been closed for over a calendar year um I, I don't think this is any big surprise i, I think uh, perhaps the reason it had been sticking around is uh, maybe so that they could continue to claim the coaster record because depending on how you count coasters they may have been brought back into a tie somewhere i think well, well officially right now for all the nerds out there uh magic mountain would officially be tied with cedar point until West Coast Racers opens up, and then they would take the one coaster lead. And that's no matter how you count. Because if you count Pipe Scream as a coaster, that's plus one. If you count Gemini as two coasters, Racers as two, then you're still at plus one. So uh, either way that you count, unless you don't count either of those, if you don't count Racers as two or Pipe Scream as one, then I guess in your definition, they're still down one. I, who, who cares, though, at the end of the day, right? Um, anyway... Green Lantern officially closed, um, said by the, uh, you know, uh, by the park, made an official statement. Uh, it will not be opening. Uh, Danny, uh, this, this is another Intamin ride going down. Um, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if this one's going to have the flowers being laid at its entrance that we see <laughs> down at King's Dominion. I don't know if we're going to have the wonderful poetry being written about the ride, uh, an ode to Volcano. I don't think we're going to have any odes to Green Lantern here. Um, I, I don't think no. many people are going to miss this one, but I think it is interesting to note that now we have two Intamins in one season being taken out. Well, and let's be perfectly clear here. I mean, there is, there is a good possibility, right, that this ride could move elsewhere. I mean, that's, that's not out of the realm of the possibility. I mean, when, when Green Lantern First Flight was announced for Six Flags Magic Mountain, everyone said it was a terrible decision because it was a big park. And it was such a low capacity. Um, you know, we said the same thing about the free flies, but some, some big parks have gotten free flies, but uh, some of the small ones have too. Um, but this was kind of the first big, this was kind of the first big addition that a Six Flags park made. It was very obviously a very poor capacity choice for where it was placed. And it seemed like it was just a cheap way to kind of up the coaster count, right? Um, so I, I guess if you go back to that, and this ride is not that old. I mean, it's less than 10 years old, right? Yeah. Um, so, or, or about 10 years old, I think they did that. They did this ride right around the time that they did Lex Luthor. I think it happened right before then. It was part of that uh, DC universe, I think retro fit and like the rehab of that area because they repainted Batman, they built Green Lantern. Uh, and then they did Lex Luthor drop of doom. And I remember when I went out there for the first time in 2012, Green Lantern was open, uh, but Lex Luthor was not. So I want to say it was like 2011 without looking at RCDB. It was around that time. Um, so I guess poetic justice, you know, anyway, you slice it here that this is coming out after seven, eight years or so. Um, but certainly not past its lifespan. Uh, now, if the ride was damaged for some reason uh, beyond repair, maybe I could understand if it doesn't go anywhere or if maybe they just sell it outright. But in well, terms of it, operation, I mean, if it, it was around for eight years and it's been quite a bit of time down and certainly didn't operate for at least the last year, uh, maybe it was just an easy way for them to cut out a ride that nobody really liked and nobody really rode. I mean, it was, it was, it was not a good ride. I know of very few people who enjoyed it at all whatsoever. So it, I, it you know, I'll be honest. I move it somewhere though. I, I didn't really mind it. It was, it was my first free spin ride that I was, because obviously the free flies weren't around now. Now, I, obviously I, I much rather prefer things like the Joker free flies. I, I think that they're far superior rides uh, than the, than the Intamin version. Uh, but I, I didn't hate the ride. Some people absolutely loathe Green Lantern. Uh, they say it's way too rough, way too, I thought I had a great ride. I thought it was real fun. Um, but, but there's not a whole lot of parks that it can go to. Uh, off the top of my head, six St. like St. Louis, St. Louis, they got a lot of junk from other places there. Uh, 
a place like Laurent's. Well, like, I think I think we could. I think. If, do you want to speculate here for a second? Because we should we should rule out. We should rule out. Let's go to RCDB here, okay? And let's uh, let's let's search uh, SNS. Um, and we're gonna go to we're gonna come up to SNS Sensei, and they've got uh, a free fly. So um, <clears throat> see here. So off the top of my head, it's it's Laurent, it's Great Escape, it's St. Louis. Oh, free fly is that stupid thing? Hold on. Over Georgia. Those are the only places that don't have free flies. Oh, in America. Okay, so they call it the 4D Free Spin 110. Okay, so we've got Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, so we're ruling out Fiesta Texas. We'll rule out Discovery Kingdom because they're getting Batman the Ride, which is a free fly. Rule out Great Adventure, Great America over Texas and New England. Yep. Uh, because they all have jokers. And then we'll rule out Six Flags Mexico because they've got Wonder Woman. So you knock out uh, you knock out Magic Mountain, obviously, because that's where this ride is from. So it's not going to either of the California parks. Um, it's not going to either of the Texas parks. So it's not going to Great America. So St. Louis, maybe, is an option. Well, and uh, I, over, I, was, over, I was at St. Louis this weekend. And their shoot the shoots ride said there's a sign out in front that said it would not be open this year, and that mm. um, it would be up. It's undergoing extensive refurbishment now. I don't know if that means that they're bringing over the Aquaman stuff to try and fix up the St. Louis version, ah, or if they're going to tear it out because it does look like it's in pretty bad shape. Just yeah. the whole area. This could go in that area too. Like you could put green lantern there sure um so st louis i think is a possibility maybe that's the front runner right away because it's a cheap addition just like they uh just like they pulled out the boomerang from over texas which yeah. was like what 20 years old and they decided to move it up there yeah um uh over georgia right and they don't have a green lantern ride at over georgia correct not that i can think I, of. I don't think so but they, they don't have to call it green lantern either they yeah, can call it, they can call it whatever um now they have a gotham area uh so I, I, it could maybe you fit. call it joker <laughs> but they oh no they already have the larson move called joker so no that's off the board. the joker chaos coaster right well we've seen two, uh six flags over texas put in a ride called harley quinn spin sanity when they already had one so they can so they can currently so they can certainly do some oddball things um six flags america the place of recycled rides. The, the, the Doherty uh, Park of Six the Flags. Doherty Park of, <laughs> the Doherty Park of Six Flags. Six <laughs> Flags America. Um, New England has one. Uh, La Ronde, maybe. Um, and what else? Great Escape. Great Escape. Well, hmm. interesting. Great, but I'll tell you what. A ride like Green Lantern at Great Escape might actually be a headliner. Yeah, that might actually get some people to go up there. Um, I don't know if it would be because I didn't really like the ride. But um, what's weird is I liked Green Lantern the first time I rode it in 2012. And then when I rode it again in 2015, I, I wasn't enjoying it so much. I think it was a very, it was a very, it depends on how your ride is. We had a very unbalanced ride in 15. We actually, uh, we came into the station and couldn't balance because they, we, we convinced them to load us lopsided. <laughs> So that was so that was a fun time. Uh, bang me around, which is part of the reason why I didn't really like it, but it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I, I don't know of those parks. I think uh, Six Flags America, just based on pedigree, and Six Flags St. Louis, based on what you just told me, and also a little bit of pedigree. Um, those would be the ones that immediately come to my mind. There, uh, maybe Laron. There's some history of relocating rides there. Um, but, like Larson loops and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so generally, uh, I, I would say those three maybe would be a front runner if you're talking about relocation. And then also you have, like you said before, the obvious option of just selling it outright to somebody else. Like these are the types of rides. Uh, we see a whole bunch of the, you know, Scream and Squirrel rides, you know, overseas, uh, you know. So, so it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility that just outright sell this thing to somebody else as well. Um, I, I don't think that's, you know, silly to say either. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll see. We know Magic Mountain's not keeping it. You would think that if they were going to sell it, though, 
they might have already done that. So why have they been keeping it standing but not, not operating for, you know, the last year? And they could have run it a few times for all we know. We, we're, not, we're not at Magic Mountain day to day. So, you know, it's very possible. That <clears throat> well, let's, well, while I'm on the old uh, roller coaster database here, let's, let's see if they have anything specific um, that they have to say about it. Um, standing but not operating since 2018. Okay, so they, they don't have a specific date in there, which yeah. would, which would make sense. Okay, uh, uh, on the fly question here. Worst ride, Green Lantern First Flight or Green Lantern the B&M stand-up at Great Adventure? The four, I, I, some people loved, used to love Chang. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I've, ne- I've never minded Green Lantern. I've always thought, it, I mean, it puts some stress on your legs for sure. Yeah. But I, I kind of like that in the big stand of coasters. As long as you don't, as long as you don't lock your knees, I think you're all right. I mean, Mantis always did a little bit of that. I, yeah. Even Torture does it a little bit. Um, you know, Riddler, not so much. Riddler, I think, was a really nice you know, to talk about Magic Mountain here and another green coaster that's actually good there. And yes, that coaster is green. Um, so I, I don't know. Riddler was a real nice mix. It's of green intent. and yellow now, but it's I, green and yellow now. I don't, what are you talking about? It's green and orange. Um, but, <laughs> um, but Riddler was a really nice mix of uh, uh, intense and also uh, graceful Green Lantern yeah. is more just intense. But uh, I don't know. I'm I wouldn't be disappointed. Rode the ride once, rode it again three years later. Uh, wouldn't be disappointed if it didn't show up anywhere again, but wouldn't be surprised if it did. And if it did, I'd probably give it another go. Um, well, and I, I think I think when we brought up LaRonde, them moving the Larson Loop from Great Adventure to mm-hmm. LaRonde kind of shows us that that is the thinking, that's the mindset now of Six Flags of maybe taking – lower cap rides that probably should not have been put in those parks to begin with and maybe moving them out to other parks where they fit better. Um, a, a ride like Green Lantern probably fit in any of those parks, obviously a lot better than Magic Mountain. Now, does it fit in those parks is the question mark. A uh, place like Great Escape, yes. place like America and St. Louis, probably. Laron probably. Over Georgia, probably not. Um, so I, I think I think what you said, St. Louis and, and Great Escape or, or America might be the might be the go to if it's moving within the chain. So I I think those are the leaders in the clubhouse if we were to yeah. see it move within the chain. Absolutely. So uh, we will keep you updated on uh, the uh, ride removal, possible sale, possible demolition of Green Lantern. Green Lantern relocation flight. <laughs> Now, would it be called Green Lantern Second Flight? Second Flight, yes, that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Second Flight. So, yeah, so there you go. Uh, um, as always, I am Andrew Barczyk from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and I am Danny Miller from Binghamton, New York. Right on, right, Warriors. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with our nonsense, guys. <laughs>